Good day and welcome to today's edition of the African Student Voices, the show that brings you the voices of students of, the, of Africa on issues pertaining to higher education on the face of the continent. You will recall that in the establishment of the Agenda 2063 by the African Union, one of the aspirations that was clearly stated was the issue of Africa with a common cultural heritage. Today we are looking at we're looking at the issue of um, African culture and how technology can be used to promote and preserve it. Basically, we'll be looking at it from student perspectives because largely students are into a number of technologies and we're looking at how these can be used to promote culture on the face of the continent. With me today to discuss these issues are two students from the University of Professional Studies, Accra. Juanita and Halifax, you're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you sir. Uh, Juanita, when we say culture or African culture, what, wh what does it mean to you? Um, I think African culture in general is the way of life of Africans as, like, as a whole, the things we eat, the kinds of food we eat, the, kind, the kinds of clothes we wear, the languages we speak, the way we act and then the way we carry ourselves, our festivals and our beliefs in general. All right, Halifax, do you have some other opinions? Yes, I would say culture is distinct to, it's distinct to a particular um, group of people. So in respect to Africans, like she said, it's distinct to us. That's our way of life, our norms, our beliefs, our traditions, our rituals, and all those things that um, is pertaining to Africans. Okay, so that's great. Now, there has been the need to promote and preserve our culture. Uh, Juanita, do you, is, is, it, is it right that we say there is the need to holistically preserve all of the cultures of Africa? Is it all of the cultures or cultural activities of Africa that need to be preserved? Um, not all of them, okay. but then most of them, because that is what makes us who we are as a people. What are some of the cultural practices that you think we shouldn't preserve as Africans? Um, we can talk about the outmoded cultural practices as we've generalized them. We have the chocosy system, okay. female genital mutilation, okay. the widowhood rights, okay. and... A whole lot of a number of them. Uh, you have some ideas about some cultural practices that uh, pertains to the continent that we shouldn't preserve any longer. Mm, yes, like she mentioned previously, she's mentioned some um, rites or rites of passage that are not really good. Okay. And we could have the, um, the the issue of polygamy and polyandry is a subject that has to be. Um, dealt into because um, in other cultures I think it's allowed that is in in Muslim in Muslim a um, poly polygamy is allowed okay but um, in other cultures to polyandry which has to do with females marrying or um, having multiple partners is not allowed so I think these co in addition to what she said should be um, should be considered as outmoded cultural practices and should be ignored and shouldn't be preserved in a natural sense. Well, so I would have expected that you would also talk about the issues of human sacrifices. Yes. I recall that in ancient times, one of the key cultural practices within the, con uh, the African context was that when a very renowned person had died, like a chief, others were killed, and then the orientation was that these would be buried together with uh, the very powerful person or the chief mm -hmm. so that they will serve the chief through their ancestral land. Is it not an instance, one instance of an outmoded cultural practice that you think Africa should not continue with? Yes, it is because um, the rite of passage which has to do with um, killing other people to mm -hmm. go with someone who has already passed on mm -hmm. is, doesn't sound right and it's not morally um, accepted that someone has passed on and someone would also have to die mm -hmm. to, as, as a sacrifice or as, as a servant in the afterlife, okay. which is not appropriate. So predominantly, what are some of the cultural practices on this continent that you think, if we preserve, would be good 
for our continent? We can have um, like our festivals, okay, which which um, describes um, our way of life, mm -hmm. um, maybe our historical events that happened, our Thanksgivings and all that. And we can have um, our food, okay, our foods which has medicinal values and all that, because we Africans we don't really use um, octodus or um, um, for Western Western seasoning in cooking. Okay. which can have adverse effects on us. We use um, native, native products, mm -hmm. seasonings for our foods and all that, which are actual natural herbs, okay. which are um, very good for us. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about our arts and culture. Okay. Our arts and culture in the sense that we can have music, mm -hmm. music being preserved through technology mm -hmm. and arts being preserved through technology. Okay. You have something to add? Our language. Our language. Yeah. All right. Our language is one that we should preserve. Even as Africans as we are, we're not communicating in any of the African languages even as we sit here. So I want to agree that language is one uh, sector that uh, we need to preserve. What about our tourism sector? Tourism in the a sense that some of our, our the issues that would attract income to us are issue of our culture. For instance, monkey sanctuaries, they are key components of what? African culture. Are we together? Yes. So clothing, drumming, okay, artifacts, they are all part of our cultural practices that I think that if we put some efforts at uh, preserving, then it will be good for us. So now, in your readings, what best practices or what technologies exist for preserving culture in Africa? Yes, Halifax. Okay, um, I, in my readings, I encountered this South African doctor um, in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. He has developed a technology to preserve or to show African history. Mm -hmm. And this um, has to do with the heritage sites mm -hmm. and where they came from and all that. So these are all technologies that have been able to um, preserve our roots or to make people know of their roots and all that. Mm -hmm. Because of colonialism and because of um, um, slave trade and all that, people have lost touch of their descent. Okay. So with these and all, with these technologies coming up and all that's preserving African culture and heritage, mm -hmm. it could help um, make them know where they are from and anything that's pertaining to their culture. Yes, some, you have some additions? Um, our movies, our artwork. Okay. When we, now when the, the actors and the African actors and make movies. They try to portray what it is to be an African mm -hmm. through some of the, the issues that they, they address in the movies that they act. Mm -hmm. That way, we are showing the world that we are Africans, we are proud of it, and then this is how we are showing, this is how we are proving that we are proud Africans, and this is how we are expressing our culture. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, go ahead. Okay, with music, mm -hmm. with our artists and all that, um, singing with our local, um, instruments and sound beats and all that. It's it's a way of preserving our culture and also making the world know, become aware of us. Okay, so those are good insights. But are there specific technologies that mm -hmm. can be used to preserve and promote African culture? Yes, like I, I mentioned, like 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 for instance, our dance, traditional dances, they are recorded okay and put on youtube that is a good way of preserving african culture they are on pen drives and you can send to your colleague in the united states of america i think it's a very good way of using technology okay you see even your ordinary video camera okay to record a cultural festival and posting it on youtube or facebook i think it's one other way of what preserving culture. our cultural heritage. So I want to believe that, by and large, the African culture, largely the younger generation, must explore and exploit current technologies in order to be able to what? 
promote and preserve it elsewhere. And even in, in, our, in our part of the world now, a lot of our organizations use their websites to preserve what? whatever they are doing. So we can even create websites that promote specifically music, dance, clothing, language, and these are all what? Technologies that can be used apart from the one that students are very much used to. For instance, you, there is the, uh, uh, you have the capacity of recording the culture of your people and share on WhatsApp platforms. You will never know where it will end. You have the capacity of uploading your cultural practices on your Facebook page instead of writing emotional things there. Are we together? Yes, yes. And she has the capacity of doing that. And all of the students of the continent have the capacity of doing the same. So these are cultural issues that we can explore at what? A large scale using technology. But what do you think are some of the importance of uh, African culture? What are some of the importance of our culture to, uh, to various African countries? Um, I'd say our culture is who we are. Okay. So if you want to talk about importance, we are saying it reminds us that we are Africans. Yes, we are Africans. We speak like this, we are proud of it. We eat this, we are proud of it. We dance like this. We are proud of it. So in, es in, in essence, it's like we are trying to say that we are proud Africans and it is who we are. It, it makes us able to represent ourselves in, like, to the world and to okay. everybody. What, what other importance of our culture do you see? Um, it's like she said, um, it's, it's who we are. Mm -hmm. And if we are preserving who we are, I think it's, it's necessary and important because um, in the long run, it would help in the upbringing of those after us. Because if they lose track of who they are, who they represent, and what they stand for, then I think there is, there is no going forward in that. It means we are not progressing. But if we're able to preserve our heritage and our culture, so that those coming after us will know that, okay, this is who we are, this is what we represent, and this is what we are, we are, we are then we, 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 it's a great deal. Don't you see. think that one other importance of preserving our culture is the fact that we can raise revenues for African countries out of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. For instance, we export the music of uh, Ghanaians. We get some income from it. Okay, the music industry contributes a certain amount of money to the GDP of Ghana. The music industry of Nigeria contributes a certain amount of percentage of what? The GDP of Nigeria. So for me, I think one compelling reason why we must promote and preserve our culture is the fact that it raises a lot of revenue what? for, for the, the various African countries. That is one, one major reason that I think should uh, should let you and I think of preserving our culture as Africans. You don't think so? It's very true mm -hmm. because with these, um, like you, see, you mentioned, music, um, film, arts, and all that, even our clothing and all that, if they are shipped outside, that's exported, it helps um, gain revenue for not only the country, the citizens in general. Mm -hmm. So it would help. The, it will help eradicate because Africa is known for. Is known, is known as um, a country or a continent mm. which is not really developed, mm. unlike the Western countries. So with these um, technologies and all that, helping preserve, helping to export our, some of our, our cultural practices and some of our cultural heritage, that's um, our music, movies, clothing, foods, and all that, outside for the other world to see, would help eradicate poverty and also make Africa a better continent, you know, and also attract investors okay. to the continent. All right, so we'll go for a break. When we come back, we'll look at some other issues.
welcome to yet another edition of African Student Voices, and that was a short break. Now, uh, Halifax, do you think the preservation of African culture can promote employment in our continent? Mm, yes, it's one way of promoting employment in a sense that when 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 we are uh, when people that um, the citizens of Africa or a particular country okay, try to export their products. It's a form of employment. Instead of working for someone or instead of doing something different, sorry, instead of, instead of not doing anything, mm. they would be able to export products mm. that are pertaining to African culture okay. and by then gaining revenue or giving some sort of profits and oh. being a form of employment to them. Okay, so do you also not think that uh, by preserving our culture and sending it, sending it abroad, it promotes the issue of globalization? Africa fits into the global economy. Uh, 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 Juanita, what do you think? Yes, I agree. As we are becoming, um, there's a saying, there's a new saying circulating that the world is now a global village. Okay. We are just one village mm. all together. Mm. So if as Africans we preserve our culture, we are trying our best to to fit into the village. Okay. As as Africans okay. and we are showing ourselves, we are doing all that we can to remain African, to remain true to ourselves. Our identity. Yeah. That is very true because also um, it remains that today a lot of the products we wear are products of the cultures of other people. So why don't we also trade our culture for to other nationals so that, or people of uh, different continents so that they also buy into our culture so that we all can see ourselves as being one. So culture is very important in making our continent great and strong as we have always envisaged. Now away from culture, tomorrow will be the International Students Day. It's a day that is set aside to celebrate your kind students. Uh, what do you have? What message do you have for your colleagues across Africa who are watching you for the International Students Day? Um, my message to students um, concerning the International Students Day is we showcasing who we are as Africans okay. to the rest of the world because it's African University celebrations and we, we showcasing our culture in respect to our dynamics, mm -hmm. in respect to our, our setting as Africans and our knowledge as Africans. By no, Juanita, so <laughs> um, I say that we should, as we are studying what we are meant to study in school, our books and everything, we shouldn't forget to study our culture, remain true to our culture, and express it as best as we can. Okay. Yeah. All right, viewers, this is how we bring today's edition of the African Student Voices to a close. Uh, we've been talking about uh, using technology to preserve African culture from the perspective of students. And I was privileged to be joined by Juanita and Halifax. Thank you.